The Schomburg Center had their sixth annual Black Comic Book Festival, in which they celebrated the rich tradition of black comics and featured panel discussions, film screenings, a cosplay show, and even some exhibition tables. The center hopes that events like these open the creative eyes to students and comic book lovers alike, as well as bring awareness to the skill and creativeness of black comic creators from across the country. What we all were working toward was an opportunity to bring all of these independent artists together who are working in silos in their home studios or, you know, as side projects to their day jobs teaching and doing graphic design, but to bring them together and create a platform where they were at the center of the Comic Con experience. Harlem is full of different kids from all over the world, but particularly kids of color. And for them to see me as a woman of color out here producing comics is very impactful because when you look out there at different comic books and different series, you don't really see us too much. Slowly it's getting there, but particularly in the mainstream, you really don't see us too much. So it's nice for them to see us out here working and producing books. It gives them an idea that that's something that they can do as well. I think that reading is so important, especially being an ELA teacher. So making sure I keep books on the library and getting my students excited about reading. I think this year has been like the first time in my teaching career that my students can't put their books down. So making sure that I have the books and seeing so many black authors and illustrators, I'm making sure I grab as much as I can. People should learn that how awesome it is to see other people's ideas and how they put it into their comics. Because that's one thing I've noticed throughout this area is that they normally use their ideas and they're so different from each other. That's why it's so unique and so cool. This is Ed Martinez, Bronx Nun.